When I went to Burundi, I visited one hospital and found that there were so many patients, most, most were women and children. This was back in 2005. In this ruined hospital, most of the patients were detained in the hospitals because they were unable to pay for substandard uh, care, user fee policies. And so who were these patients who were detained? They were women, farmers, they were men, they were children who were there, they were Hutus and Tutsis, who had been taught how different they were from one another. They wouldn't talk outside, but inside they're talking because they realized they have more in common than what had divided them. So you take advantage of that opportunity. Now you are friends. Why can't you be friends outside? Why can't we do something good together that is good for you and your children and your community and everyone? Can that happen? So just that opportunity, it's a horrible situation, but you take advantage of the problems and then you bring people together because they are suffering together. You show them what has created that lack of trust and then you deconstruct the system. Then you know you will actually make friends. You will turn all these people who were afraid of you or were afraid of or afraid for together. They understand that the real issue is not they have been what they have been told. So it's really building trust is so important in that it comes from a true, honest conversation that is compassion, that comes from your heart that comes from your knowledge, what you know, versus you are bad, you did this and that, but what caused me to do that? I don't, don't believe that there's a, a normal human being who can take a machete, who can take a gun and kill someone just for the, you know, just for killing. 